Okay, next we're gonna uh, have to load the uh, resources. Uh, basically, we're gonna have to load all the images, and we do that with the following line: uh, bitmap texture atlas texture region factory that set base set asset base pack path to GFX slash, and we're gonna have to import this. And it basically says every uh, image we're gonna have is gonna be in this GFX folder. Now this doesn't exist yet, so we're gonna have to create it. So you right-click on assets and you create. I mean, click new, and you say folder, and then you create GFX. And then when you go into the workspace uh, in Eclipse, and uh, under this project, my example. Under assets, there's gonna be a folder that we just created, GFX. Now, there's nothing in it, so let's put in the uh, graphics that we're gonna be using, and I'm gonna copy in the images right now, and these are the four images. It's gonna be the arrow, uh, the background, and this these two. Uh, animated sprites one black one red so from here on out we just gonna need to refer to these with their uh, names we don't have to give any path to them because we specified it here okay the next thing is that we're gonna have to declare a couple uh, uh, variables and in end engine there's two things. One is called the texture atlas and the other one is called the texture region. And the texture atlas is basically you declare an area that you want to use in the memory and that that can only be uh, size uh, where, the, where the dimensions is the power of two. So it can only be like uh, let's say like uh, 64 by 64 or 64 by 128 it, can't be anything else. Now your images are not necessarily gonna be the size so you're gonna have to find find appropriate size mm, one bigger than that it will fit. So for example I open up uh, paint just to demonstrate it and let's say my background has the dimensions of 800 by 480 so if I drag this in here uh, this is the actual uh, image in the memory. It's going to have to look 124, 1024 by 512. This white area is the, is the area that we're going to reserve in the memory. And this is our, our image. So, that, And that's because OpenGL can only handle uh, these kind of memory sizes. So that's what we're going to do. And also later on, we're gonna load these two images into the same uh, uh, texture atlas, which is basically the reserved memory area. And these have a size of 128 by 256. So we're just gonna basically create a uh, one uh, uh, back. I mean, one texture atlas. And uh, they're gonna have it's gonna have the size of 256 uh, by 256, and that's gonna hold this one as well right next to it. We don't you can put more than one images into a texture atlas. Okay, so let's declare our texture atlas for the uh, uh, background and. I'm going to do it up here in fields. And I'm going to have to import these. And I'm just going to, I just basically named my background texture atlas. That's the memory area. And the my background texture region, that's basically the image that it's uh, going to be. Okay, so uh, let's uh, load this.
and you type this dot my background texture atlas equals new bitmap texture atlas and that's the size that I show you 1024 by 512 you're gonna have to import this and this is basically has to do with the image quality so we're gonna we reserve that wide area in the memory okay now we're gonna have to load the actual uh, image into that area and you do that by doing this line my background texture region that's the second variable and you're gonna have to type equals bitmap texture atlas texture region factory you have to type this whole thing in dot create from asset and you're gonna have to give it uh, uh, let's see you're gonna have to give it the, the texture atlas which is this thing so this is the same as this and you're gonna have to there's a second argument uh, that's a context so you're just gonna type this and this background dot PNG is this file and the zero zero is basically where do you want this uh, file to start within this wide area so you want in our, in our background image you want to start it here at zero zero in this in the in these uh in the second picture second example the first when you first when we're gonna first load these the red ones or uh, actually it's gonna be the black ones in that case this is gonna be zero zero and when you load the second one this is gonna be uh one twenty eight zero because we're gonna load it here you can load you can reserve a bigger area and you can load in a whole bunch of uh images or you can do it one at a time either way okay